So Sydney, how do you handle Jared getting so much female attention? So I want to bring y'all this video on Jared McCain and Sydney Williams and talk about their recent breakup and also give y'all my opinion on everything they got going on. So check this out. I have been hearing a lot of rumors lately about Jared and Sydney's situation and it seems like they have officially broke up after being together for a few years. We all know Jared McCain is currently a freshman attending Duke University while Sydney Williams on the other side is a UCSMB graduate. So as you can see, regardless of them still being in a relationship or not, they were going to be long distance and had to figure out their new situation in order for things to continue to work out for them. But we all know, long distance relationships are really not easy at all, definitely when you're both living across the entire country. And on top of that, Jared is a top recruit coming out of his class while going to a top school in the ACC. So for him, his situation was already going to be hard as in staying in a committed relationship with Sydney because everyone knows he has the potential to make it to the league. So of course, all them Duke University girls on campus already knows that and that's why you will see a video of Jared being at a party talking to a girl and basically getting her number. He is honestly like a star at his school so all of that is going to come easy for him of course and he also got the clout too. But if I was him, I would definitely just stay loyal to Sydney since she was the one that was always there for him. So the thing is, Jared McCain is not just a regular hooper, he also is a public figure and entertainer as well. He has 600k followers on Instagram and 2 million on TikTok. So he got the motion for sure, and you know he can use that to his advantage anytime he wants. And same thing for Sydney Williams. Even though she did deactivate her Instagram due to all the stuff they got going on, she still has her own fan base as well, including having 300k on TikTok. So she been doing her own thing too, and I actually understand on why they ended up falling off because they're basically in two different situations with their lives now. Jared don't even stay in California with her no more. He currently lives in North Carolina with completely different type of people. And for Sydney, even though she still lives in California, she is literally there by herself without Jared. So of course, things are not going to be easy for them because you know other people are going to interfere with their situation. Such as guys trying to talk to Sydney, knowing that Jared is gone and vice versa. Before he went to college, they literally used to always be around each other. That's why they both decided to create a YouTube channel together to show their bond to the world. And you could tell that they were really comfortable being around each other. And that's why a lot of people did support them because they both were real genuine in their relationship by respecting each other. And you don't really see that too much nowadays, definitely with young couples in this generation. So the relationship Sydney and Jerry had always stood out because they were always giving all positive vibes. And that's why people are now shocked to see them break up because they made their relationship seem perfect. But we all know nobody is perfect. I don't care how much money or clout you got. Everyone go through things behind closed doors. Nothing is easy. Definitely living in this society. So I completely understand on why things start working out for them. Of course, they probably still talk to each other then and there because we all know how it is dealing with your ex. Definitely when you've been in a relationship together for a long period of time, it's not really that easy to just completely cut off the person unless they were already messing with other people. I'm not exactly sure on what they got going on, but I know they probably are still cool with each other, such as having a mutual relationship. So that's why they still been doing their own thing by making their own TikTok videos. And we all know Jared has already been active on TikTok, but lately he seems to be more energetic in my opinion. He also been getting bigger too, of course, by putting in that work at Duke, getting ready for the season. So regardless for Jared's situation, he can't even let his breakup with Sydney affect him in a negative way because he is most likely the starting point guard at Duke University for this upcoming season. So he has to have a positive mindset in order to lead his team to success and all of the extra stuff he got going on just have to go out of the window. You know his team won't even allow him to be upset over a breakup, definitely being at a brotherhood school. And of course, there are other girls that's on campus as well, so I'm pretty sure Jared is not too bothered about it, but at the same time, you never know. He could actually really be hurting in the inside, because you could tell that he actually was in love with Sydney. So I don't blame him at all if that's the case, because there's nothing wrong with that. She clearly is his first love, and we all know how them breakups go, definitely dealing with your high school sweetheart and all of that. So this really is a tough situation. When you look on Jared's Instagram, you can see that he removed all of his pictures with Sydney, including highlights and same thing for Sydney. She literally deactivated her entire Instagram account because people keep spamming her comments about her breakup with Jerry. And on top of that, she probably just wanted to take a break from everything. So I don't blame Sydney for deactivating her Instagram because I know how people can get. 
and when you look on both of their TikTok accounts, they still have their videos they made together on there. So it seems like they are still cool with each other by being mutual for right now, and they honestly might get back together, you never know. Sydney even made a TikTok video about a week ago, and you can hear the song that she put in the background that says, can we go back to being friends after we have dated? So once their fan pages reposted a video on their account, they then put in the caption, is this a message for Jared? And Sydney even commented on the post and said, this is literally a sound ad, bruh, absolutely nothing. Now, honestly, in my opinion, she knew exactly on what she was doing by making that video because she was even lip singing to it. So she knew the words to the song and everything, and she definitely was talking about Jared for sure. Because a lot of females do be trying to still be friends with their ex after a breakup for many reasons due to them still wanting to be single and do whatever they want, but still also going back to their ex anytime they feel like it. So this situation is really interesting, but at the same time, it's not surprising. Because a lot of relationships do fall off around this stage nowadays, definitely when you're both public figures. And on top of that, social media plays a part into it as well. So I definitely want y'all to leave your comments and opinions below on how you feel about this. We all know Jared is a freshman at Duke and also is expected to go one and done while entering the 2024 NBA draft. If you guys are not informed, one of ESPN's top NBA draft experts labeled Jared McCain as the best player on the floor during the CP3 Elite Guard camp. He also included that Jared is an elite worker as well as changing his body, improved his ball handling and finishing, and plays with tremendous feel and unselfishness. So NBA guys are actually high on him and sees the potential and impact that he can make in the future by being in the league. So Jared honestly just need to stay focused on his career and just get to where he needs to be because he's already on the right track. Ever since he arrived on campus throughout this summer in June, he has been improving himself every single day while being one of four five-star additions in Durham to complement a returning cast of eight scholarship players. So I'm very excited to see what he's going to do for this upcoming season, definitely after dealing with his breakup with Sidney Williams. Hopefully he's just using all of this to fill up his fire to achieve his goals because at the end of the day, all of this is just a distraction. Sydney has her own mindset, so she probably just want to do her own thing, which is nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, she has her own life and career too, so maybe it is best for them to separate and focus on their own goals. Because how the world is set up now, it's really hard for young relationships to work out together. When people see that y'all got something good going on, they love to try to interfere and sabotage it. And we all know, Sydney and Jerry got their own friend groups as well. So of course, their friends are going to be in their ears and all types of stuff to keep those separated. I just want to bring y'all this video and give y'all my opinions on everything. Because breakups are like the norm now. And it really sucks to see it. So since I got a voice, I might as well just give my input on everything and hopefully make a change one day. I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you press the notification bell. T-Game, we out.